Hey guys, it's Kevin Davis from Rugged Restore. I wanted to shoot a quick video about Trim Renew on how to apply it. And also I want to shoot this in one take uh, if I'm lucky so that I can show you that I really am applying it the way that I say I apply it in the other videos. So here we go. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you first is this is a 50-50. This is the uh, famous bumperette. They came on the TJ um, Jeeps. This one is from a 2004 Rubicon, my wife's Jeep. So what I've done just for pictures and video and all that, I've done half of it already with Trim Renew and half of it just left the way that it was. So wanted to show you that first. This is one, I believe from the front. I think this one is the back one. This one is the front, I can't remember. This one I literally just went out and picked out of the uh, parts pile from the Jeep whenever we redid the Jeep. The bumperettes are actually one of the first things that come off of this thing. So I wanted to show you how to do Trim Renew on this Jeep. Uh, on this Jeep part. So this is our bottle of Trim Renew. There's actually a little bitty uh, ball bearing in here. So you want to shake it up and you can hear the ball bearing in there doing its thing. So we'll get it shaken up. So all the oils and all the dyes and everything is mixed together. So we'll just open it. I already have the gloves on right now, just in the interest of time. So I put those on already. Set that aside. Your little applicator may look a little bit different. This is just a cotton applicator. We have foam applicators. Uh, sometimes we change suppliers. So Depending on which one you get, they're all pretty much the same and do what we say. So I'm going to just put a little bit on the applicator, let it soak in. Don't want to go too crazy. Set that aside and it's pretty easy. You're just going to take the part, wipe it on. And ordinarily I'd let this sit for a little bit and then wipe it off. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna take it and wipe it off right away. You've got a towel that's included with your kit. Wipe it off, there's a little bit of residue. You can see on the towel. And this is pretty much what you get. You can see the part that we didn't do, the part that we actually have done on the back. We haven't done that one and we have done this one. Now this is very porous uh, plastic. The porous plastics actually do really, really well. They send, tend to take it up a little bit easier. Some of the uh, smoother plastics, you may have to let it dwell a little bit more. You may also have to do more than one coat just to get it uh, to soak in a little bit better. That actually has been done on this. This is the fender flares from that 2004 TJ. I actually just put them, um, did some trim renew on them. They're all wiped off. These were in pretty good shape to begin with, uh, but I've got them all nice and shined up. So I almost got it through all in one cup, but that's Trim Renew. I hope you'll check it out, and I hope you'll also look at other products. I did clean these parts with All Purpose Cleaner from Rugged Store. We have all sorts of parts to be able to detail you and keep your truck looking nice, your Jeep, 4Runner, whatever it happens to be. We've got the products to deal with it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.